What's up, everybody? It's Britney, bitch, and she's back. New single, Work, Bitch. And she's working. So, I'm Alexis Maurice, and this is... Trey Hollywood. Okay, you can turn that down just a little bit, because you it's, it's too much over me. Ladies, go ahead and pour yourself a glass of wine. Put on some lipstick, honey. And pull up a chair so we can discuss the latest happenings in Hollywood. Because Miss Britney is back, bitch. Now, on top of Britney being back, let's just go ahead and just get... First of all, how you doing, Trey? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Trey's still here in Charlotte with us. Yeah. He's leaving tomorrow, though, to go back to Atlanta. He's going back down into the gay capital of the whole world. What well, up? <laughs> that was shady. So you can go be gay and all that good stuff. I'm going to be gay. But... So we're gonna do, of course, this episode of Hollywood Happens. But like I said, we were talking about Britney Spears. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is we're drinking on Birdie tonight. It's not really a glass of wine. It's sort of kind of like a malt beverage or whatever. We're keeping it a little light, light. Just a little light, light tonight. Light, light. But catch these teas, honey. Britney Spears is rumored, and she's supposed to be confirming it on Tuesday. But she's rumored to be um, inking a two-year deal. Two years, people, with uh, Planet Hollywood. Okay. Ooh. I'm talking about, and she's just 31 years old, but I'm talking about she's going to be making $310,000 per show over a two-year period. That's $15 million a year. Two-year deal, $30, $30 million dollars to do shows in Vegas for a total of two years. That's crazy. I see why Tony stayed out there in Vegas doing the show. But see, what, but Brittany, I, mean, I was just having a conversation with someone the other day, and it was just saying how, why is it that people like Beyonce, Britney Spears, um, who was the um, BB say? Beyonce, Britney Spears, yeah, Janet J -Lo. Jackson, J-Lo. J -Lo. Why is it that they can just, you know, they can just make all of this money, but you have all these struggling artists like, uh, Sierra with her Groupon albums. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Sierra and Ashanti. Ashanti. Why do we, you know, why do they struggle so much? And I was telling him it's all about branding. It's all about the branding and the team that they have and the people that they have working for them. Now, Janet Jackson, she already gets one leg up because of the fact that she comes from the Jackson family. She's a, she's a Jackson. Right, she's a, Jack, she's a Jackson. But Britney Spears, some people even wonder why Britney Spears is still relevant or sure. whatever. But she started off with Disney. You know, her and Justin Timberlake and I forgot what the other chick name was. Christina Miller, Aguilera. Aguilera, they used to sing in a little Mickey Mouse club and all kind of stuff like that. And then she went through her whole partying phase, you know. Cutting the, the hair off. Cutting the hair off. You know, she just continues to recreate herself, but she has a brand. The brand sells itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two years, $30 million to do. And I, I think she only has to do like 48 shows a year in order to make that. That's some top. That's some top-notch money there. That's 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 balling. Like right. she don't even have to put out an album. Mm -hmm. And speaking of this song here, she posted on Instagram, you know, early on Monday um, evening, saying that I think that song is like number one in thirty-six countries already. 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 It was ready for Britney ready. Spears, honey, bitch. You are back. You need to teach these other little girls how to sell an album and stuff like that. Like I just try to figure out. Like I really want to know. Like what. Is it? Cause don't get, get don't get me wrong. When Britney first came out, I love Britney. Cause I was one of the ones that was at Kmart. Do I get Britney? Do I get Christina Aguilera? Do I get Britney? I got Britney. Mm -hmm. because, because she Britney, bitch. That's why. That's why you got the CD because she's Britney, <laughs> bitch. She says it every time she comes out with a new damn but it's, song. But it's, that's her trademark. I'm Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. Britney is that bitch. Nobody can't touch her. Shit. Who? I mean, a lot of people. Oh, can't okay. Touch her. I was about to say. Cause I mean, I she don't know. like she the best singer. She but she ain't, now she ain't making as much money as Celine Dion now out there in Vegas. But she's quite close to it. She's quite close to it. And Britney, <sighs> Britney, she's it, honey. I mean, yeah, she's yeah, it. Yeah. So congratulations, Britney, honey. Congratulations, Britney. Oh, your thirty million two two year deal with uh, the MGM Hollywood Planet Hollywood out there. Oh, Speaking so cool. of. Um, Britney was on X Factor, right? She was. She okay, was. so her co-host, Mr. Simon Cowell. Now, let me tell you about this old messy queen here. Simon, y'all. Now, I thought this here, I was watch, I was reading some stuff online this morning, but I also caught the season premiere of Wendy Williams this morning as well, too. She's back. She's That's another back, 
season five. Congratulations, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? But anywho, so Simon Messy Ass is having an affair with his best friend's wife. With his best friend wife. So I think he and on top of having the affair, this is the juicy part. She's pregnant. Pregnant. She's pregnant. So the way that the man found out about it, let me see, the, the, the horse name is Lauren Silverman. Simon Cowell, of course, he's American Idol, X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, Judge, or whatever the case may be. And this horse, she's just a socialite. She's not even anybody important. Mm -hmm. But her husband's name is Andrew Silverman. The way that he, he found out that his wife was having an affair with his best friend. That's, that's, that's love. That's shady. That's really, really shady. He came home. Brit the way that Whit um, not Whitley, um, <laughs> Whitney, not Whitney, Whitney, the way that Whitney explains that he came home, he went into the kitchen and he got a slab of orange juice, probably ate some lunch meat, you know, sorted through the mail, went upstairs, opened the door, and find Simon Cow ass running around in his room, butt naked. ass naked, butt naked, butt ass naked. So Simon, I ain't no. Girl, I didn't know you had it in you, he honey. I did not know. You know, I've, I've heard that you're a whore. Okay. You know, that you, that he is. I heard he is. And he's not, you know, he's not one too hot or anything like that. He loves women or whatever. Me personally, I thought he was homosexual when he first came on the scene. But him and word Ryan. on the street. Him him Ryan, Ryan Don't talk about Ryan Seacrest. No, I'm just saying I thought that he no, was. No, don't talk about him like that. So you tell me anything. Don't he talk about Ryan Seacrest like that. You don't know him, Trey. I don't know you him. don't know him to be putting that on on him any kind of way like I that. I just thought he was. Him Whatever. and the other co host With the other co host I mean the other guy named that was only there for season one of American Idol. I feel bad for him. Like he's got rid of him and they kept Ryan. There was another co host? See, my point exactly. Yeah, there was two co hosts. Was, I don't know. It was Ryan Seacrest and then another guy. Ryan, you have a theme song. You know Mario has a new song out called Fatal Distraction. It's just about that same same situation. Fatal Attraction? No, Distraction. Oh, okay. It's Fatal Distraction. Basically, the song is kind of just about, his, about that, mm -hmm. where he basically ends up having having feelings for his best friend's girl. That's your theme song right there, Simon. Child, Fatal Distraction. that's messy. That's messy. And so Wendy told Andrew, which is Simon's best friend, mm -hmm. the way to get back at the wife, and, and mind you, they got kids together. Ooh. The way to get back at the wife is to go sleep with one of her top five best friends. <laughs> but it's true. It's true, Wendy. I would agree with you on that. It gets girls pissed off. It gets them all, their panties all up in a bunch. If they man or they boyfriend or they peace. Start fucking around, home. you know, one, with one of them side. As as um girl says it from um you from uh -oh. um loving hip hop, you. the popcorn hoes. Mm. She's with the popcorn hoes. Uh -huh. It makes her mad when you know the boy goes out and he sees one of them popcorn hoes. So Simon, you messy girl. I know you had it in you, but two snaps and a twist and twirl my hair and all that good stuff for you. What you got, Trey? Since we're going to talk about messy stuff, we're going to go ahead and talk about a little bit of stuff that's been going on with Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Her name has been in the news a little bit because You know, we of, talk about Beyonce a lot. I mean, you know. We need to stop giving her Well, this will be the last time we talk about her. And I, doubt she it. I doubt it. I doubt it. It won't be. It, it probably won't Let's be. just go ahead and just be real with it. Anyway, go ahead. I'm so tired. Carry on. We're going to talk about another B. We're going to talk about Britney. Because she's we're, that bitch. We're going to talk about Beyonce. Mm. We're going to talk about another B. Yeah, shortly. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, but Beyonce has an ex-boyfriend. Oh, I get what you're saying. Beyonce has an ex <laughs> has an ex-boyfriend that she was with for nine years. What you mean? You talk about the other B? You talk about Brandy? Yes, Brandy. And Br how she? Uh, ah, so Beyonce was dating. Why is this? Hold on, I'm talking no, no, about wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and get to this. Let now, me bitch. finish this. Let me tell y'all. So of course, uh, one of the highlights of this summer. <laughs> That was the highlights of the summer. It was the highlights of the summer. Oh. Child, they said that Brandy went out to perform to an empty motherfucking audience. Say it wasn't nothing about 10 good people sitting See, in the See, I exaggerate because they said it was 40. I don't care if it's 40 in a big old auditorium like that. Child, Brandy walked out thinking she was about to go out there. What's one of her songs? I don't even think about calling me crazy. Yeah, da, da, da. Anywho, she thought she was gonna and say, "What's one of her new songs?" Put it down. If you put it down right, she went out there. It wasn't nobody out there in the audience. Nobody. When I tell you, I hollered when I read that this past summer. I laughed and I, I was trying to figure out 
when I was gonna bring that up on Hollywood Happenings in front of Trey, cause you know he loves Brent. That's his good Judy, honey, honey. But to tell clear, us to, 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 to clear, clear it up. Let's clear it up. Let's clear it up, clear it up because it's in clear it up. <laughs> Brandy went over to Africa. <laughs> Damn, for, she couldn't even sell out in the motherland. For, 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 for the Nelson Mandela, it was like, shut up. <laughs> Brandy went over there for a cause. She never went over to perform. She never went over to perform. It was never publicly put out that Brandy was even there. There were people who were already contracted to perform. And at the end, Brandy was asked to come out and sing for the remaining audience. Mm -hmm. That's how it went down. So she got everybody's leftovers. She basically was accessing for the remaining audience. It wasn't. It wasn't that she was. She was not. Really so the show was over. The show was over. Yeah, she was there for she the cause. She was just a feeling. She was no, no, no. She was just a cause <laughs> to be there to show she to show respect for Nelson. She wasn't a backup performer. <laughs> she was a backup performer. I ain't got time. Anywho, I'm clearing up. She was not performing for forty audience. She came. She there. was on the JV. Oh, no. She was she, on the JV on. squad. Oh no. She came there. For, nah, not the JV squad. There for the cause. You remember the B team? Go to that game on Wednesdays and Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> the B team. Y'all remember the B team from high school? I'm sorry, Trey. Go ahead. Go ahead. I apologize. You I'm, I'm quiet. I'm done. You done. I'm done. She went there for a cause. The remaining audience that was left there, she was asked to perform for. Mm -hmm. She came and performed two or three songs for the remaining people that so were there. And then oh, okay. Go the ahead. media. Mm -hmm. Took it out of proportion mm -hmm. and said that Brandy had a concert. There was only forty people came. Brandy never had a concert. Brandy was not there for a concert. Brandy was there for for the for what was going on <laughs> and for the main people that was there. She was asked to perform, <laughs> and so she performed two or three songs for the main people. So it was never a concert of forty people that that showed up at Brandy's concert. It wasn't even her concert. It wasn't even a concert. It was something that was going on for a cause, and then they had people there singing. So go ahead and clear that up. I'm going to move on to what I was talking about. Thank you, Trey, for clearing well, up. We're talking about Beyonce, who was in a relationship with a guy for awful nine years. rumor that Brandy performed to an empty audience. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I guess it was like a Sierra concert. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a Keisha Cole. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Beyonce, back to Beyonce. Beyonce was dating a guy named Lyndall Locke. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read a little insight on how they met. Mm -hmm. Alright, is that okay with you? Go ahead, Trey. The childhood sweethearts allegedly met in 1993 at a youth church, shared their first kiss at Rhyme and Night concert, and attended prom in 1997. Basically, he broke up with Beyonce because of her fame that she got, she changed, blah, blah, blah and he ended up cheating on her. Mm -hmm. after, they, after they broke up, he ended up telling her, um, he recently came out with E! News and reported this and gave his information, let us know that he's cheating on her. I wonder how much he made off that. Wow. That story. I, I wonder how much you made it off of it too. That's actually a good question. But I, he stated that he still feels that Beyonce still loves him. I mean, if that's your first, you can always, you know, care for your first. She was with him for nine years. But that was like, what, middle school and high school? Not if they went to prom. Well, prom, yeah, high school. 1993, she's 33, 32, somewhere around there. By the math, blah, blah. It was high school. What's nine the years. point? What's the point of him even coming out and saying any of this stuff? There's no, there's no really no point. He just, just decided he just wanted to come out and tell the world that he used to date Beyonce. He, he just wanted everybody to know that he was with this bitch for nine years. Thirsty trap. That's <clears> a thirst <throat> trap. That really is a thirst trap. I don't know what he reaching, but he reaching really, really well, hard. Well, he's the only one that's thirsty. She was in Brazil <laughs> performing <laughs> Sunday. Them bitches reached too. They grab her ass right off that thing. This <laughs> guy decides to grab her mm -hmm. as she sounds horribly singing ir ir um, irreplaceable. irreplaceable so go ahead and get going and as he grabs her Come he don't just grab her leg and just like oh my god I love you so he grabbed her and put her into the audience Right. To the point where the security had to come and grab Beyonce and put her back on stage. But she said that's okay. After, yeah, because yeah. they was about to put him out. She's like, yeah. no, 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 it's okay. Right. It's okay. Because I think that was kind of good and nice for her to do that. Yeah. Um, I mean, that he was a little excited. He was excited. He got a little excited. But I mean, it was, I mean, I won't say it was her fault because she did go down there. But he, I mean, he grabbed her like it was no tomorrow and pulled her down there. Like, yeah, that so, I mean, these yeah. men are thirsty for, for Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce, just stop, just stop getting too close to the people when you perform. But just say she popped her ass right up and she was singing. Just like remember her hair got caught up in that bad. damn fan like that too, mm -hmm. and she just popped right back up and she started singing again. Mm -hmm. I remember Michael Jackson hair got caught on fire that time, mm -hmm. and he popped his ass up back singing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, Beyonce, be careful, honey. That's all I got to say. That's probably why she cut her damn hair. 
So that hell wasn't gonna caught no more hell damn yeah. fans and shit yeah. like that. The dude should have grabbed her by a motherfucking oh, head and pulled it down oh. like that. But anywho, who got mad this weekend, Trey? Well, Beyonce was also somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was in San Diego, LeBron James and his high school sweetheart, mm-hmm. uh, Savannah. They got Congratulations. Congratulations. She reportedly was there. She saw Crazy in Love. At the wedding? I guess because they're crazy. I hope she did an acoustic version of Slow It Down or something like that. Give me an acoustic version of Crazy Enough. Oh, they got me so crazy. What's the the lyrics? Um, You got me so crazy. Looking so crazy, love. Got me looking so crazy right now. Love's got me looking so crazy right now. Got me hoping you page me right now. Who's got me looking? Kids got me hoping you page me right now. You think she's looking singing like so that? crazy in love. Got me looking, got me looking. I'm pretty sure she was on 10. I would have been at this shit like, she don't shut the fuck up. But she sung, she, she was at LeBron's wedding. John Legend got married this past weekend too. Mm-hmm. Where did he get married, Trey? He's 34. Right. And his new wife is 27. Mm-hmm. They were they they reported they said they were going to get married in September. They, they got s- married in, in Italy. Italy, right? They got married in Italy. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, to Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad you to pronounce that because I was trying to figure out how to say that last night. Yeah, she did, they did that special on Oprah or oh, oh, whatever would, on the I, Own Network. I, I, Next I, chapter, John Legend and Chris, they are a really cute couple. They actually are. Yeah, they really are. John Legend. There's this video of John Legend out in the web too, where he's like butt ass naked, naked with his dog. Yeah, and he's doing all kind of shit, singing yeah. in the shower, sitting on it's the pretty, chair. It's pretty hot. Pretty hot and tempting. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's okay. Mm-hmm. And then, who's the last person that got married this weekend? Zoe. Zoe Sa. How do you pronounce Saldana or Saldana? Saldana. You know, y'all know Zoe. Saldana. She reportedly got married too. Um, she been kind of out of the limelight lately. No, she is not. I'm talking about as far as when it comes to a lot of war shows that um, she was uh, that we thought she was yeah, going to come to. She did. Really cute. So she reportedly got married also this weekend. So shout out to all three of them individuals who got married. Whoa. Well, we raise a glass to you. Let's toast to all those people who got married this weekend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So what else? Who came? Um, Queen Latifah, right? Queen Latifah new show started today. The QL Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Right. Queen Latifah saw a show. She had um, John Travolta on there. Right. He talked about you know a couple things that he had going on. You know he gave an advice to um, you know people trying to do things that he has done and you know stuff because he, he had a couple things going on mm-hmm. the past couple years or whatever. Um, she also um, surprised a, a um, I don't know if it was an African American Afri- American school, but it was predominantly like the students were. Mm-hmm. But she um, she brought them to the Sony studio. Um, the um, it was a band they were playing. They all play instruments. Okay. And um, she um, surprised the whole class and the teacher into them to the Tony the the Sony studio and made a song. Did a song with them and surprised them. Alicia Keys was there. Oh. She, Alicia Keys. Okay. She played a song, that piano for them, mm. and just when they thought it was over, they was taking them back to the school. Got back to the school, and Queen Latifah was there. Oh, okay. She surprised them at the school. She, re- they, her and Alicia Keys remodeled them complete band room, hardwood floors, oh, painted awesome. the walls, gave them all new instruments, brand new instruments. So it was, it was real nice. Um, you know, it, it's, it. I, I, I like to hear that. I like to hear stories about arts and you know the, the youth in the school still. Mm-hmm participating in arts because I know when I went back to um, a football game at my high school back in Columbia um, shout out to C.A. Johnson High School Mighty Green Hornets um, the kids are just not they're not doing extracurricular activities like they used to they're not an ROTC anymore they're not on the band um, the football teams are smaller than what they used to like all the kids are out working now everybody's working some of them, I think, work by choice or whatever, and then some of them may have to work, you know, just because of the situation at home or whatever. But I know when I was in school, I used to enjoy, you know, participating in the extracurricular activities. I think some of those things, you know, they help shape and mold me into who I am today. But the bands, all the my high school band was all flat. And when the, now, when I say high school band. Is drummers and people who dance and stuff like that. That's it. You know, nobody does anything anymore. And I, I think it's kind of sad. So um, kudos to Queen Latifah and Lake- um, Alicia Keys for, you know, that home record. Yeah. But, you know, kudos to all of them for, you know, trying to make something, you know, magical happen for these kids and let them know it's okay for you to, you know, to be eclectic and um, yeah. be artists and, and things of that particular nature chase your dreams and all that good stuff so kudos to you i didn't get to catch her show 
I saw like a bit, a little small bit of it. I saw her and Travolta sitting on the couch talking, and she played. She showed some old pictures of him and, and things of that particular. It was nature. good, and they had Willow Smith. She um, she closed it out. She Try sang here for her. She um, that's some grown ass. Kids. No, but you know what? No, they, they grown. The, the, I'm saying though, I haven't seen her like talk and, and actually be like in the camera except for the award show lately. Mm -hmm. But when I saw her on on um on Queen Latifah show and she sang, she's like she's mature. She's grown up. Mm -hmm. Um, even Queen Latifah after she sang Queen Latifah asked her to um, you know, you know, give some best wishes to the kids and she was like, you know, follow your dreams, stay in school. Oh, that's nice. Like she 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 gave like good, you know what I'm saying, advice to the kids in school. So I believe that she's growing up, that she's finding herself. I think that's one that thing could that be true. about her. So that could be true. I mean that whole whip your hair thing might be gone out and No, it's just not that they they just seem really grown for their age. Willow and what's that brother? Jaden? Jaden. Or whatever. But you know, our, but Trey's older. He's out of high school, yeah, right? He, yeah, he's, he's a little older than the rest mm -hmm. of them or whatever. But um kudos to you. Now Chris Jenner's show did get canceled mm -hmm. as well. So Queen Latifah, I hope you do better than Chris Jenner. I think she had what, six? Mm -hmm. How many episodes she I had? Was four. It could be. Oh, it was it's very short lived. Six. Yeah, it was very, very short lived. Sorry, I'm sorry that it didn't work out for her. I actually thought that because she was a Kardashian, it would just work. She's not a hot Kardashian. But she's the mother. She's the matriarch. Shit, if we were to make it big, I want her ass to, to make it. Think about, you know, everybody loves the Braxton show and everybody loves the sisters. But if Evelyn, the mom, has a show, ain't nobody going to. Well, she started her own um, life coach practice. Yeah, but ain't nobody going to watch a talk show. I might listen to what Evelyn has to say. You know who I think she get a talk show together or some type of sort is Evelyn and um Sonya, Brandy's mom. They 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 oh, always trying to put them Norwoods. No 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 no. no. If you follow them. if you follow Brandy's mom, she has a lot going on as far as like what Evelyn's doing. Like she has a website and everything. And you don't follow her like so you Actually, wouldn't know. No. But she she believe me she gives great advice. Well, get your life, girl. Get yeah. your life. Miss Norwood. But anywho, Chris Jenner talk show got canceled. Now, I did, and to be honest with you, I saw a co problem. I, I would let you know if there was. Oh, okay. Just checking. Okay. As I was saying, Carry on. I was really interrupted. What interrupted you? My body. Kanye. Did you see Kanye's interview with Chris Jenner? You know, this is the, this is what I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it, it was good. It got it allowed me to see Kanye in a different light or whatever. He's a father now. Mm -hmm. You know, he got caught up with the paparazzi stuff and the shit out the paparazzi and all kind of stuff like that. But this is what disturbed me about that interview with Kanye and Chris Jenner. Now, Chris Jenner thought, you know, Kanye has, you know, apparently or allegedly, well, not allegedly, because he said he had been following. Kim Kardashian for a long time. I didn't know that Kim Kardashian was Brandy's assistant. Well, Brandy actually spoke about that like Monday, uh -huh. or no, like Saturday uh -huh. or something like that. Brandy Claire cleared up. She was never her assistant. She did work with her, but Brandy said she don't like to say that Kim Kardashian actually worked for her. She just say she worked with her. That's how she likes to say. Well, Claire, that's not what they say. Well, you know, it came from the horse's mouth. So what? She don't want to be associated with Kim Kardashian. No, no. She said. Sex she, tape or no, like she's, this is what she said. She said actually. That's no, no. You're, you're, you're taking it the wrong way. You're just like the media. You're taking it the wrong way. She said that Kim Kardashian and Ray J actually. Bitch, I am the fucking media. Listen, okay. She said Kim Kardashian and Ray J actually knew each other before Ray, before Brandy met Kim Kardashian. Kardashian Kim Kardashian and Brandy met and they became best friends and they worked together. She basically did work for Brandy. Oh, they were best friends. Yeah. I didn't know that. But, I did not know but that. But what happened was is some money got missing and you know the whole Right, the whole, exactly. exactly. I did hear that. They girl, they say that Kim Kardashian steals something. Y'all better watch y'all pocketbooks when y'all around her ass and y'all clothes well, and y'all shoes and all that. Hopefully she ain't stealing nothing no more because she got home. Once a thief, home. always a thief. No. I ain't the one to gossip, but you ain't heard that from me. But all I'm saying is hide your motherfucking pocketbooks when them Kardashians hide your come wife, around. Hide your keys. All that stuff. But anywho, what was I saying? So Kris Jenner thought that it was cute that Kanye took their Christmas picture and he cropped himself in their Christmas picture. Now, if that was any other like person in the world, right. let's say it was just a crazed star, you know, another crazed star, because that's what Kanye was. He was a crazed fan of Kim Kardashian. Who would have did? And let's say he walked up to her and approached her and the police took him away and they found a picture of himself. Chris Jenner would have had a fucking cow. They would have had a cow. 
But she glorified and thought it was cute that Kanye West did something like that. I mean, I like Kanye, don't get me wrong, but I still thought that was a little borderline. Like, for you to crop yourself in a family's Christmas picture like that. creepy. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Just a little creepy, but Christian yeah. thought it was cute. I thought it was good that she ended her talk show career with her son-in-law or whatever being her final guest and we got to see their they dynamic. They did not approve if you bring Kanye West on this show. But I did not, also Kansas. I did not know that Kim, um, Kanye West and Kim moved in their house and Bruce and the other girls, the two youngest girls, they went and got their own house. Did you know that? I like their own apartment or something like that? that. Or whatever. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong but I think I got it right. They said that Kim, you know, she wanted, they couldn't, her and Kanye couldn't find a house, so they, Chris Jenner moved them into her house. How can you not find a house? Right. Just if, she already has a house. You're Kanye like, West and house? Kim Kardashian. How can you not find a house? My thing is, Chris like, Jenner. Say, you can't find a house. No, like, my thing is, like, Chris what? Jenner is wrong for making, letting them move in and her mm -hmm. husband move out the damn house. That's like, you at one point. I'm going to say you house, so you, you, so. And Chris Jenner also. I, I'm not a real big follower of the Kardashians. I'm gonna I'm be honest with you, but I also heard that Kris Jenner was thinking about changing her last name back to Kardashian too. Like seriously, now I, I just think that's so disrespectful. I, I really, what's what's the dead name? Oh, Jenner. Bruce Jenner, right? So Chris, duh. <laughs> Bruce Jenner, I'm so fucking stupid. But are anyway, you <laughs> I've been drinking all day, but I don't think I'm inebriated. But yeah, she was. I, I just think that's disrespectful to Bruce that you would consider moving back to your maiden, your old husband's name. You're married, honey. You've been married to me for all these years. Nothing that you ever thought about prior to you guys getting all this fame and fortune or whatever like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, I still will let Chris Jenner manage me because she's an awesome manager. I think she's an awesome mother too. Or whatever, but I just think that's a little borderline. Just a little borderline. Uh, changing subjects just a little bit. So Floyd Mayweather <laughs> fought um, Canelo Alvarez um, this past weekend as well at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, honey. This is where all the big ballers and the shot callers be going. At, we just said we decided not to go to. This yeah, we we decided we we just had so much shit to do that we was getting prepared. For seasons. And I had to finish up filming that movie I was doing. <laughs> right, and we just wasn't make we wasn't able to make it out there to Las Vegas, honey. But all of the big balls, all the shot callers were there or whatever. We ended up selling our seats. Actually, we didn't sell them. I just let um, Jack Nicholson them, you know, have the seats. I wasn't too happy about our, that, but because our seats were a little bit closer or with everybody else's. But I'm talking a hundred thousand dollars per seat, per seat up in that damn place. One of these days, to that big I'm going to go to one of these fights. Like, all jokes aside, I mean, I was, you know, looking at the celebrities' Instagrams and tweets and all kind of stuff like that. I mean, shit was going down. It was going down at fights. Cigars, women, titties, um, playing dice. Like, it, it was dope. It was really, really dope or whatever. And I, I would just like to be there in the energy, you know, in the midst of all well, of that you want to give our tickets away, then. But anywho... Um, you know, so Floyd Mayweather came out and you know he he you know he forty six and oh. Right. Forty six and oh. I mean my thing is like people I was reading some reviews they were saying that, you know, they felt that Floyd was kinda of playing around with the dude, but some people say that, you know, Canelo also kinda of gave him a run for his money too. Or whatever. But in the end Floyd went that's just what I heard. That's just the stuff that I was reading. Um Christ, walking away from the fight. Floyd Mayweather was expected to make forty-one million dollars. Now Britney only making thirty million in two years. Floyd Mayweather has made forty-one million dollars in, in one night. Forty-one million in one night. Whether he was gonna win or whether he was gonna lose, he made forty-one fucking million dollars. Trey, forty-one million dollars. Win or lose. You taking that shit to the bank. I can imagine the bets. I can imagine. I hear. I this heard next him. fight, I'm putting my savings on it. Um, I went to this little you know fool. He don't lose. Right, he don't lose at all. Somebody gonna lose his ass one day, though. Who? Somebody. I don't know. But, um, dude at the 
Tofu Shop. Um, shout out to um, Lawans with the Lawans Soulful Kitchen this past weekend here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, for the drive. Um, yes. They gave you some money for that? No. Free coupon? No. You better call them. I got $10 Lawan books <laughs> for my next purchase. But he was saying that I didn't know that Canelo apparently is Mexican. Yeah. Or he's Spanish, American, Canelo. whatever we want to say. I mean, I didn't know. Oh, well, they say he don't look it. He doesn't look it like even when I look at the picture, that man don't look he like look he's white, Hispanic. Right? He, look, he like? look a dirt like a dirty ginger. He got red hair and everything like that. But when <laughs> you look at that, be like that. But they were saying that honey, the, the Mexicans was pissed off. They was fucking pissed off that he lost. They better go. He was at least in that fight. Why? He's. I mean, he in the fight. He ain't giving no no damn money. True, but why you mad he lost? Well, because them people bet on him. Well, God, doggy, you know it's a sad oh, situation. Whatever. And they lost all their fucking money. Well, but they should have lost. They should have money for even betting against Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather in the first place. True, but that's all I got to say. Uh, so congratulations, Floyd, for winning this fight. We did a lot of congratulations today. Congratulations to Brittany, mm -hmm. LeBron, Brittany John, bitch. Zoe. Um, congratulations to Nene. We didn't say congratulations to Simon Kyle because he... He's shady. Messy. Yeah. We're going to say congratulations to Nene. Nene. She's Nene. Nene. She is accomplished. She get her own spinoff. Congratulations. I dream of Nene. Starting Candy and um, Kim had already had there. Yeah. I don't even remember Kim's. I like Kim show. I mean, what I it was, was it? Kind of don't be tardy. And don't her ass is pregnant again. That's some fertile ass fur. Them all. Oh, them the thing. Them shits be swimming. They be diving up that damn coochie. They, I mean, they go all the way up and up. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Bam. Bam. She's pregnant yeah. with twins this time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Them some super sperm. That man got that <laughs> sperm sperm. <laughs> Damn. Them shit's on fire. But congratulations to Kim for being pregnant again. You need to close them legs. And Croy, don't you ever leave her. Because if you leave her, she's going to suck your ass dry for everything that you are not worth. I heard that his ass is um, injured right now, too, right? Yeah, I heard that he is. Yeah. I haven't got to look. Excuse me. I look up all the details, but I heard he is. Um, I don't know. That's a developing story. We'll come back to yeah, that we'll on the next episode. Up. But um, congratulations, Nini, on your spinoff. I'm actually looking forward to Marlo. We get to see Marlo on TV. We all, I felt that she should have been a part of the last season in the first place. But to each his own, she offended Andy by calling, you know, you calling faggots and all kinds of stuff. I can't stand, stand that bitch. Like I that. cannot stand her. I don't like her for nothing in this world. I'm waiting for the day that I run into her. Her and Ken, Kendra, Kenya, whatever. I can't wait till I run into her. Well, what they did to you? I can't stand and them black asses. Trey, you know what? You need some help. Ignorant. As long as you don't get into no Twitter wars with them. We're trying to build our brand. Child. You're talking about you can't stand people and you hate people. I'm sorry. You need to get it together. Stand them, bitch. But in, well, you might run it. Ain't you supposed to be going to some... Um... Uh, okay. Well, excuse yeah. me. I apologize. So, yeah, I apologize. I ain't excuse supposed to be me. mentioned. But um, mm -hmm. Nene, congratulations on your new show. I'm looking forward to it. I also heard that Marlo steals clothes too. And I, heard, I, also heard, I don't know if that's true or not. I ain't the one to gossip. I heard it. I ain't the one to gossip. But they said she, she be wearing stolen, too. stolen clothes. You heard that she what? Go both ways. You starting stuff. I mean, I heard. You starting stuff. You were I heard from somebody that I, that, that somebody but that I know. But catch this T. There's another show that coming on. with the housewives. Anywho. And um, There's another show. Sh shout out to Marlo Stylist, Daniel. Um, Dan what is Daniel's name? He <laughs> called himself something else. I don't know. Dan, congratulations. You're doing your thing, honey. Uh, but uh, there's another show from Atlanta that's coming out tomorrow um, on Tuesday. We're not talking about mine. We're talking about somebody else's. When Nini's show, after Nini's show, mm -hmm. some new show called The New Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, so we got Alexandria Dilworth. Uh, this is the cast. Africa, Miranda, Emily Lipman, um, Vaughn Sims, and Trouble Reese. Have you heard of any of these people? I mean, you've I've never heard. Of, I've never heard of any of these people. Yeah, never I mean, but it. apparently they're the movers and the shakers of. But what it's saying is that they, yeah, they're basically showing that they want to be the upcoming cutthroat industry. I guess this is what they're doing: fashion, music, event planning, and business, while taking advantage of Atlanta's hot social scene. Yeah. So I guess they're basically you know trying to build their brand on the come up or blah, blah blah. So shout out to them. Yeah, congratulations the to y'all. Now this last juice, and then we're gonna have to call it a, a night with this one. This last year, this happened a couple of weeks ago. Uh, apparently, we'll be able to see this on the new season of Real Housewives of, Real Housewives yes. of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But Kenya's friend, Brandon DeShazer, okay, uh, Wendy, 
Do I sound like you her? You sound like Wendy you know how Wendy be like, supposedly so. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> Kenya's friend Brandon and Phaedra's mm. husband Apollo. Apollo got into a cat fight, honey. These two queens, I don't know what happened. But all I heard is that Brandon got some stitches up in here. Or oh, whatever. They say they had to take five security people or five of the background people to restrain Apollo from cutting his ass. Now, I don't know if they got some type of, you know, if it was some type of local. Apollo like he goes in, though. Somebody said, I also heard that Apollo really do be messing around with Kenya or has messed around with Kenya. I ain't doing the gossip. Y'all ain't heard that from me. But that's just what I've been hearing. You can go to TMZ, of, uh, TMZ.com. Go to TMZ. You can see because that's what both of us we looking right here on it. But we'll see exactly what happened. But they're saying that Apollo violently attacked Brandon. He flew into a rage. And honey, they was pulling hair, you know breaking nails. Tracks was coming out and all kinds of stuff like that. So honey, we have to see what happens on this new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta 1. I'm just gonna say, you know what? I know somebody who know Brandon, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get that in. And then, really? Yeah. I'm gonna try to find out. But I, I, there was just this video on um, TMZ or whatever. He was, you know, his mouth was a little bit swollen or whatever. But we'll see what happens. But that's all I got to say. Make sure that you guys follow us. We have a new Facebook page. Go to Facebook and it is Holly. What is it? What's our Facebook page? Hollywood Happenings. Yeah, Hollywood Happens. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought no, it's it's Facebook.com slash Hollywood. It's no, that is Instagram. Oh shit. Instagram is it's Hollywood. I T Z Z H O L L Y D. No, no W O O D S. It's Hollywood is spelled regular, but it's is I T Z Z. Yeah. So follow us on. Go like our new Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Um, follow us on Twitter mm -hmm. and Instagram. It's Hollywood. I T Z Z. Same on Twitter. Hollywoods with an S. I'm Alexis Maurice underscore Alexis Maurice, and this is Forever Trade. Forever man. Trade Forever. Instagram. Um, and Twitter. Follow us. Comment. Let us know what you think, guys. Hopefully, in the next coming weeks, we'll have the logo, um, and then we'll have the credits and everything rolling. We appreciate the support, and we will see y'all on the next episode. Love you, Holla. Yeah, work,